hey in this video i'm going to start with the torso part so let's first take take a polygon cylinder so i'm going to use polygon modeling technique here and i'm going to use this cylinder for the torso torso part of here okay so let's take a cylinder and let's go to the front view so click here and go to front view you can just maximize it by holding press uh, space bar now let's take the move tool okay and i'm going to turn on x-ray shading option here inside this shading menu so that i can see through this model so here inside shading menu you, you can find this x-ray option so click here once you activate that you can see through your mesh and you can you know adjust with your reference image so let's go to inputs of the cylinder here and let's decrease this poly subdivision axis to something like 12 and make sure you are you can give any number but uh, as long as it it gives you a particular subdivision line at the center here okay so let's say you are putting 10 with this subdivision count you are not getting anything here so it's not a big problem but still it's gonna create some problem when you want to delete half because you don't have here half so it's gonna like you cannot delete half so that's why i always keep something like 12 or any number which gives me a between line or it shouldn't be like more than and more than 12 i think because it's again hard to like adjust if you have uh, let's say 24 divisions it's very hard to like adjust for a base set so let's put 12 12 is a good number here and now i'm going to decrease this radius so click on this name and hold middle mouse and drag on the viewport here in the empty area and when you do this sometimes you feel like it's not in your control or something like it's gonna crazy like this so that time just hold control and middle mouse drag you can drag only middle mouse to change that value but if you hold control while you are middle mouse dragging it's gonna changing that value with some very decimal number or points so it's gonna be very slow so that you have the control to stop okay so now like this so the torso width and let's decrease the height so i'm going to like set the height from this neck area till this um, you can say this this pelvis bone area here on with this line yeah so let's decrease a little bit so this bone line and the base of the neck okay let's go to the side view here okay let's go to setting and turn on x-ray for this view okay okay it's perfect now i need some edges here so at subdivision height so let's put some subdivision height there and again i'm not going to be crazy here just keep it simple like four or five at the at start so that we can just easily create the base here so once i put here once i like adjust this cylinder i'm going to start with the neck here and i'm going to rotate it here let's rotate i'm going to try this neck base here this angle okay if you cut the hair like this you'll get this body angle here so let's see here and it's i'm going to front view now i'm going to scale it as my neck base okay you don't have to be exactly matching here because we are not going to create this body exactly so now let's scale this scale this chest area uh, till here let's scale this area a little bit so i'm roughly trying to match this reference image okay like this and now let's go to side view again do the rotation here so i'm going to rotate this line a little bit to get this flow here and i'm going to scale it just in z axis because the body now i'm like squeezing the cylinder right the body is not exactly 100 percent cylinder okay the body is kind of oval shape so here let's scale it a little bit with just this axis 
and let's scale it because if you again scale from the center you are gonna miss the front as well okay so once you set the front then just scale in particular axis in one single axis which is Z in this case now I'm moving this to get this um, line of action or get this uh, gesture of the body here okay and let's rotate it now I'm using my shortcut which is E for rotate W for move and R for scale so just rotate it and scale it so once it's done now I'm going to create this deltoid and this this part bottom part so let's put this line at the armpit area and I'm going to add one edge here you can see this bone the color bone here just add one edge there so let's go to edit mesh and insert a loop tool sorry go to mesh tools and insert a loop tool click on there and now you can drag on any edge so I want a horizontal edge loop so I'm going to drag on a vertical loop here okay so it's gonna like cross it or it's gonna like divide it like this so let's put it here at the clavicle area here and I'm going to extrude this area so I'm gonna put one edge here so when I put a as you can see so I'm inside my perspective let's turn off this x-ray now I'm going to put one edge here at the center so I'm going to going to I can put here like this but I'm going to turn on one option inside that insert as loop tool which is insert with edge flow when it on and you are like adding one edge loop it's gonna average the shape or it's gonna maintain the shape it's gonna try to create a round shape okay so again it's not that important you can do this manually but I just wanted to show this option it's very useful let's reset it okay and now I have this side four face I'm going to extrude for the delta so before I extrude I want to make this shape a little bit rounded okay so let's make this shape a little bit rounded so I'm going to move tool and double click on this move tool to get the tool settings option here and now I have selected world here so you can click on this little triangle and change this to component once it's set to component you can see the move tool changes okay once it world you can see it's aligned to the world axis so let's change to component now you can see it's now allowing me to change the vertex on the surface the surface direction here okay it's very useful sometimes okay so here I'm trying to like do a round shape for that hand or deltoid extrusion here again it doesn't have to be perfectly round or something just okay now reset it here close it so I'm gonna extrude these four faces so again let's go back to front view and I'm gonna extrude it from edit mesh extrude and you'll get this manipulator just click on this icon little icon so that we, we are going to get the world axis move click here now you can see the extrude is showing world axis move now move it like this okay now this is our deltoid piece so I'm going to adjust it like this and the hand would come from here okay so let's go to perspective view again you can see it's go going straight like this so we are going to just double click to select this small edge loop move it forward move this so from top view you can see it's like like this and again I'm going to move this a little bit so basically I'm trying to make it a little rounded shape organic shape okay so this is my deltoid part here so I'm gonna delete this half so I'm, I'm not going to do this side again so we are going to work one side okay so here I'm stopping this video in the next lesson we're going to do the leg uh, part here at the bottom part